Hey guys, so this is just gonna be a quick video of just a breakfast country hash. And um, this is just a recipe that I found from, uh, I think it was Cowboy Kent Rollins or uh, Lodge, I can't remember. But anyway, I mean, there's so many out there uh, and mine isn't anything special. You know, mine's uh, something basic. But if you guys want, you know, a recipe, I mean, pretty much just the basic stuff that goes in a hash is potato, onion, bell pepper, jalapeno i mean other people do sausage other people do bacon you can add whatever you whatever you want into it um you know but for me it's like i said i i did some onion potato bell pepper we're gonna throw in uh some jalapeno as well my wife likes you know she likes a little bit of a kick but nothing too spicy so uh, I used to do serrano chili, but serrano is a little bit spicier. I mean, you can get some that are spicy and you can get some that aren't. But, uh, you know, for like I said, jalapeno, uh, it has a kick, but nothing is going to be overwhelming. So we switched over to jalapeno. And uh, to kind of kick, you know, top it off uh, towards the end, you, um, you can crack some egg over it, uh, over the hash once you pretty much have it cooked. Uh, and then uh, put some cheese on it as well. Like I said, everybody has their own recipe, but this is, you know, something that my wife likes and uh, is, has actually become one of her favorite breakfast meals in the morning. And uh, for her, this is, um, you know, I switched over to a smaller skillet uh, because obviously um, it's a single serving. This is for her. Uh, and I, I used to cook, you know, this meal in a bigger skillet, but I always kind of overdid it because I was trying to fill the bigger skillet. You know, I would use a 10, 10 inch or a 12 inch. So um, we would have a lot of food left over and uh, we didn't know what to do with it, especially because my kids are picky. Um, and then I, I don't eat that. Um, I, you know, I, I, I like my our schedules are different. I, I eat way earlier than she does. Um, I get up earlier than she does. So, you know, uh, my breakfast is in the morning, morning. I mean, we're talking like five in the morning and uh, hers is, you know, eight or nine. Um, she takes care of the kids. So uh, I, I go to work a little earlier, come back and then um, do a breakfast for her. Uh, not always, but, you know, once in a while. Anyway, going back to the butter pat, uh, you know, since I, I recently got this 8-inch, uh, um, like I said, I wanted to give it a shot, and it's doing a great job. You know, um, a lot of people mentioned uh, that uh, Butter Pat has a hard time seasoning, and uh, so I was kind of concerned with that, um, especially because, uh, you know, with like I mentioned, and it seems like I'm always ranting about Smithy, but uh, Smithy, uh, I love Smithy. I'm not ranting about it. Like I said in many of my videos, um, Smithy is one of my favorite cast iron skill, uh, ca cast iron companies. Uh, you know whether it's their skillets, their um, their uh, dual handle pans, or whatever it is, I I, lo I love their products. So um, definitely not a hater on Smithy, but you know yes, it is harder for for uh, f for you to season their their products. But anyway, uh, going back to the butter pad. Um, like i said i read you know from a lot from a facebook group you know that uh is about butter pat they they just mentioned that uh they have a hard time a lot of the uh new people that you know are commenting on this group uh just say hey what's the best method to season this and and this and that and what do you guys use and um i you know i stuck to what i use which is usually grapeseed oil um and it's been seasoning really well um i got the homer pot before i did this uh eight inch skillet so um i had you know i i had about a week or two um you know seasoning time with that one before i got to this one so um i i you know i treat i treated it the same way like i do with all my other skillets and and it did a great job um you know getting building up the seasoning um so i haven't had any issues and usually you know if it was a, like a smithy let's just say like i said i sound like i'm ranting about it but i'm not uh the smithy obviously um their seasoning usually tends to flake off or peel off so um i i i was assuming that this was going to have the same issue but no actually then um it was very uh 
if anything, it just kind of, the seasoning, you know, from the factory came off a little, very minimal, almost, almost nothing, to be honest. Um, and you can get it back, you know, to an even coating right away, like, because that's what happened. Um, after I cooked uh, the first meal, I had a little bit of discoloration on the seasoning, but, you know, I, I did another uh, oven oven seasoning and it and it came back to a you know a whole you know like a solid seasoning um so no issues there and uh i i don't understand why people mention that uh that it has a hard time seasoning i don't know if it's because of the color um i don't know if they want a black you know uh cookware like skillet like you see with modge um to me the color doesn't matter as long as I get a good seasoning to where I'm going to cook my food and it's going to not stick or, or you know, have uh, the iron taste in it, I'm happy with that. Um, like I mentioned, the, the color doesn't matter to me. Uh, yeah, I know that a lot of people like, you know, the traditional color, which is black. Um, but like I said, for me, that's not the big deal. For, uh, for me, the, the, the big deal would be the, uh, you know, the actual coat on it, like... Do I have a coat on on the skillet? So, um, like I said, no issues there. Hold seasoning really well. It's been doing a great job, and uh, no, like I said, no issues. And and even with the uh, the Homer pot, uh, which is you know not really a Dutch oven, it's more of a pot um, because they even call it a pot. But anyway, uh, there the 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 pot works really well as well like seasoning wise it holds seasoning really well i have had no issues no flaking uh no excessive buildup or anything like that which is good so uh, i don't know exactly what people want but I, I don't know if it's the color like i said usually you see a black you know black cast iron that's usually the color but um I, for me i don't mind you know the like i mentioned the uh the bronze color for me is is actually a very nice color but um I wish I would have had uh, a lid for this. And, uh, you know, I just grabbed one of my glass lids that I have for a uh, vintage um, Wagner that I have. And uh, my wife was getting a little impatient, so she was hungry. And uh, in the end, we're going to just and scramble this. And when you can do that as well. You can scramble it. Like I said, this, you know, hash, you can make it whatever way you want. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you guys have never seen, you know, I, or better yet had hash you know breakfast hash give it a give it a try because it's a it's a very good um breakfast uh very filling and and um not as heavy as you can you know as uh i don't know like it's not a heavy meal um but anyway going back to this uh my you know the eggs weren't cooking well because obviously there's you know it doesn't fit it doesn't do a proper seal so um my, like I mentioned, my wife was getting impatient. So I was like, all right, well, let's just scramble it. That way we can just, you know, it'll cook a lot quicker once you scramble it. So we'll, that's what we end up doing in the end. But like I said, um, the butter pat doing a great job. Love how uh, well it accepts seasoning. Love how it cooks. Uh, you know, for the third time that I've used it, it's cooked, you know, all my food great. No, no iron taste, no nothing, no seasoning flaking off. So um, so far, I've been happy with this skillet and uh, with butter pat. So, uh, you know, long term review will be, you know, a couple months from now. But um, like I've said, so far, doing a great job. And uh, if you guys want to try this recipe, like I said, you guys just look up something. Uh, it's breakfast hash or country hash. Um, and, you know, like I said, you can add whatever you want sausage, bacon, um, ham. That's what I ended up doing ham, sausage. Uh, you can do things like that but hope you guys enjoyed this video um thank you guys for watching i appreciate your guys's time